C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 1 integers page 23 1.7 properties of division of integers observe the following table and complete it what do you observe we observe that integers are not closed under division statement inference minus 8 divided by minus 4 is equal to 2 result is an integer minus 4 divided by minus 8 is equal to minus 4 upon minus 8 result is not an integer minus 8 divided by 3 is equal to minus 8 upon 3 dash 3 divided by minus 8 is equal to 3 upon minus 8 dash justify it by taking five more examples of your own we know that division is not commutative for whole numbers let us check it for integers also page 24 you can see from the table that minus 8 divided by minus 4 is not equal to minus 4 divided by minus 8 is minus 9 divided by 3 the same as 3 divided by minus 9 is minus 30 divided by minus 6 the same as minus 6 divided by minus 30 can we say that division is commutative for integers no you can verify it by taking five more pairs of integers like whole numbers any integer divided by zero is meaningless and zero divided by an integer other than zero is equal to zero that is for any integer a a divided by zero is not defined but zero divided by a is equal to zero for a not equal to zero when we divide a whole number by one it gives the same whole number let us check whether it is true for negative integers also observe the following minus 8 divided by 1 is equal to minus 8 minus 11 divided by 1 is equal to minus 11 minus 13 divided by 1 is equal to minus 13 minus 25 divided by 1 is equal to dash minus 37 divided by 1 is equal to dash minus 48 divided by 1 is equal to dash this shows that negative integer divided by 1 gives the same negative integer so any integer divided by 1 gives the same integer in general for any integer a a divided by 1 is equal to a what happens when we divide any integer by minus 1 complete the following table minus 8 divided by minus 1 is equal to 8 11 divided by minus 1 is equal to minus 11 13 divided by minus 1 is equal to dash minus 25 divided by minus 1 is equal to dash minus 37 divided by minus 1 is equal to dash minus 48 divided by minus 1 is equal to dash what do you observe we can say that if any integer is divided by minus 1, it does not give the same integer. Can we say, within brackets, minus 16 divided by 4, divided by minus 2, is the same as minus 16 divided by, within brackets, 4 divided by minus 2? We know that, within brackets, minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 2 is equal to 
minus 4 divided by minus 2, which is equal to 2, and minus 16 divided by, within brackets, 4 divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 16 divided by minus 2 equal to 8. So, in brackets, minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 2 is not equal to minus 16 divided by, in brackets, 4 divided by minus 2. Can you say that division is associative for integers? No. Verify it by taking five more examples of your own. Try these. Is 1, 1 divided by a equal to 1? 2, a divided by minus 1 equal to minus a? For any integer a, take different values of a and check. Example 6. In a test, plus 5 marks are given for every correct answer and minus 2 marks are given for every incorrect answer. 1. Radhika answered all the questions and scored 30 marks, though she got 10 correct answers. 2. Jay also answered all the questions and scored minus 12 marks, though he got 4 correct answers. Page 25. How many incorrect answers had they attempted? Solution. 1. Marks given for one correct answer is equal to 5. So, marks given for 10 correct answers is equal to 5 multiplied by 10 equal to 50. Radhika's score is equal to 30. Marks obtained for incorrect answers equal to 30 minus 50 is equal to minus 20. Marks given for one incorrect answer is equal to minus 2. Therefore, number of incorrect answers equal to minus 20 divided by minus 2, which is equal to 10. 2. Marks given for four correct answers is equal to 5 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 20. Jay's score is equal to minus 12. Marks obtained for incorrect answers is equal to minus 12 minus 20, which is equal to minus 32. Marks given for one incorrect answer is equal to minus 2. Therefore, number of incorrect answers is equal to minus 32 divided by minus 2 which is equal to 16. Example 7. A shopkeeper earns a profit of 1 rupee by selling 1 pen and incurs a loss of 40 paise per pencil while selling pencils of her old stock. 1. In a particular month, she incurs a loss of 5 rupees. In this period, she sold 45 pens. How many pencils did she sell in this period? 2. In the next month, she earns neither profit nor loss. If she sold 70 pens, how many pencils did she sell? Solution 1. Profit earned by selling one pen is equal to 1 rupee. Profit earned by selling 45 pens is equal to 45 rupees, which we denote by plus 45 rupees. Total loss given is equal to 5 rupees, which we denote by minus 5 rupees. Profit earned plus loss incurred is equal to total loss. Therefore, loss incurred is equal to total loss minus profit earned, which is equal to, within brackets, minus 5 minus 45 rupees, which is equal to minus 50 rupees, which is equal to minus 5,000 paise. Loss incurred by selling one pencil is equal to 40 paise, which we write as minus 40 paise. So, number of pencils sold is equal to minus 5,000 divided by minus 40, 
which is equal to 125. 2. In the next month, there is neither profit nor loss. So, profit earned plus loss incurred is equal to zero. Page 26. That is, profit earned is equal to minus loss incurred. Now, profit earned by selling 70 pens is equal to 70 rupees. Hence, loss incurred by selling pencils is equal to 70 rupees, which we indicate by minus 70 rupees or minus 7000 paise. Total number of pencils sold is equal to minus 7000 divided by minus 40, which is equal to 175 pencils. Exercise 1.4 1. Evaluate each of the following. A. Minus 30 divided by 10. B. 50 divided by minus 5. C. Minus 36 divided by minus 9. D. Minus 49 divided by 49. E. 13 divided by, in brackets, minus 2 plus 1. F. 0 divided by minus 12. G. minus 31 divided by, in brackets, minus 30 plus minus 1. H. in brackets, minus 36 divided by 12, divided by 3. I. in brackets, minus 6 plus 5 divided by, in brackets, minus 2 plus 1. 2. Verify that A divided by, in bracket, B plus C is not equal to, in brackets, A divided by B plus, in brackets, A divided by C for each of the following values of A, B and C. A. A is equal to 12. B is equal to minus 4, C is equal to 2. B, A is equal to minus 10, B is equal to 1, C is equal to 1. 3. Fill in the blanks. A, 369 divided by dash is equal to 369. B, minus 75 divided by dash is equal to minus 1. C, Minus 206 divided by dash is equal to 1. D. Minus 87 divided by dash is equal to 87. E. Dash divided by 1 is equal to minus 87. F. Dash divided by 48 is equal to minus 1. G. 20 divided by dash is equal to minus 2. H. Dash divided by 4 is equal to minus 3. 4. Write 5 pairs of integers A, B such that A divided by B is equal to minus 3. One such pair is 6 minus 2 because 6 divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 3. 5. The temperature at 12 noon was 10 degrees Celsius above zero. If it decreases at the rate of 2 degrees Celsius per hour until midnight, at what time would the temperature be 8 degrees Celsius below zero? What would be the temperature at midnight? 6. In a class test, plus 3 marks are given for every correct answer and minus 2 marks are given for every incorrect answer, and no marks for not attempting any question. 1. Radhika scored 20 marks. If she has got 12 correct answers, how many questions has she attempted incorrectly? 2. Mohini scores minus 5 marks in this test, though she has got 7 correct answers. How many questions has she attempted incorrectly? 7. 
an elevator descends into a mine shaft at the rate of 6 meters per minute. If the descent starts from 10 meters above the ground level, how long will it take to reach minus 350 meters? Page 27. What have we discussed? 1. Integers are a bigger collection of numbers which is formed by whole numbers and their negatives. These were introduced in class 6. 2. You have studied in the earlier class about the representation of integers on the number line and their addition and subtraction. 3. We now study the properties satisfied by addition and subtraction. A. Integers are closed for addition and subtraction both. That is, A plus B and A minus B are again integers, where A and B are any integers. B. Addition is commutative for integers. That is, A plus B is equal to B plus A for all integers A and B. C. Addition is associative for integers. That is, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C for all integers A, B and C. D. Integer 0 is the identity under addition. That is, A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A is equal to A for every integer A. 4. We studied how integers could be multiplied and found that product of a positive and a negative integer is a negative integer, whereas the product of two negative integers is a positive integer. For example, minus 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to minus 14 and minus 3 multiplied by minus 8 is equal to 24. 5. Product of even number of negative integers is positive, whereas the product of odd number of negative integers is negative. 6. Integers show some properties under multiplication. A. Integers are closed under multiplication. That is, A multiplied by B is an integer for any two integers A and B. B. Multiplication is commutative for integers. That is, A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A for any integers A and B. C. The integer 1 is the identity under multiplication. That is, 1 multiplied by A is equal to A multiplied by 1 which is equal to A for any integer A. D. Multiplication is associative for integers. That is, A multiplied by B multiplied by C is equal to A multiplied by B multiplied by C for any three integers A, B and C. 7. Under addition and multiplication, integers show a property called distributive property, that is, A multiplied by B plus C is equal to A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C for any three integers A, B and C. Page 28 8. The properties of commutativity, associativity under addition and multiplication and the distributive property help us to make our calculations easier. 9. We also learned how to divide integers. We found that a. When a positive integer is divided by a negative integer, the quotient obtained is negative and vice versa. b. Division of a negative integer by another negative integer gives positive as quotient. 10. For any integer a, 
we have a a divided by zero is not defined b a divided by one is equal to a you were just listening to the audiobook mathematics for class seven narrator gaurav marva assistance in production samya malik producer vimlesh chaudhary presented by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india